Hello everybody, Ministorm here. Welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. In the last episode, uh, we gathered up with our friends to kind of go over the situation and uh, start to put together all the information that we had and came to the conclusion that, you know, I have been mentioning for the previous two episodes that uh, there was another culprit involved, that Namatame wasn't responsible for the initial two murders. Because too many things didn't quite line up. And so we headed over to the hospital and talked to Namatame to get his side of the story. And as it turns out that he was in fact trying to save the people he was kidnapping. Because he put together the correlation that the people who were appearing on the Midnight Channel with Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishi ended up dead. And he had the power to enter the TV as well. So he surmised that he could put people who were appearing on the Midnight Channel into the TV as a way to protect them from the killer. And since people that he put into the TV ended up emerging later perfectly fine, that it seemed to reinforce this belief. So he kept doing it. Not realizing that he was actually putting people in mortal danger and that we were having to rescue them. So... Um, kind of a bit of a, you know, just lack of information about what was really going on. So I guess we really can't blame him too much. Though, you know, kidnapping's not great, but at least he had good intentions anyway. You know, sometimes the road to hell can be paved with good intentions. So with that all sorted out and we... And decided that we needed to try to get more information about the original two murders to see if we could determine who the original culprit actually was. Are there any clues left that could be found? So that's what we're going to be working on next is doing some investigating to see if we can gather any more clues about what's happening. But we're going to go ahead and head to bed, move on to the next day, and uh, then get to work on that. Right. You need to investigate the town. You wonder if you'll be able to gather the information you need to catch the killer. All right. So we literally have to talk to everybody in order to make this work. But we want to talk to a few NPCs in a particular order. In the first place, we want to go is the shopping dif district north. We want to talk to this woman right here. Uh, this fog sure is dark and creepy, isn't it? Oh, you have a question for me? We want to ask about those murders. A little while ago, they said that a suspect had been caught. It was in the newspaper. It was that Namatame-san, right? I remember seeing him around from time to time. Oh, how horrible. It really does frighten me. I don't recall seeing any other strange people, so I'm sure he's the culprit. Is it true that there were no other suspicious individuals? Perhaps you should ask someone else about this. Well, first thing we're going to do is turn around and talk to you again and ask if you recall anyone suspicious. Have I seen any other weird people aside from Namatame-san? Hmm. Uh, nope. I don't think so. Okay. So then the next person we need to go see is a girl in Juness. You? Can I help you? Well, ask about the murders first. Yeah, the incident last spring... I don't remember anything from that long ago. I'm going to be studying for college entrance exams next year, so I've got no room for useless information like that. Well, do you recall anyone suspicious? A suspicious person? Uh, now that you mention it, my friend was saying she saw someone. I think she's just wandering around the shopping district, so why don't you ask her? All right. So we're going to go back into town. And we're going to look for a female student in the shopping district. I believe there was one right over here. What is it? Uh, we're going to ask about the murders first. Uh, what are you talking about? Can you explain about the incident involving Saki and Yamano, the female announcer? Did all that happen just last spring? Wow, it seems so long ago. <laughs> Who's going to remember something from that far back anyway? Well, do you recall anyone suspicious? Uh, so someone told you that I saw a suspicious person? Uh, oh, that... You 
you remember Saki Konishi, don't you? You know, she passed away a while ago. She told me how that Namatame person came to her one day and started spouting all this craziness. Something about the TV. I wonder what that was all about. His relation to Saki? Hey, I don't know what you're implying, but you've got it all wrong. Saki was a good girl. It's just that people misunderstood her. She must be referring to the time when Namatame tried to warn Saki. It seems the thing about Namatame making advances on Saki was a misunderstanding. All right, then. Now we just need to talk to everybody else. All right, so you. Hmm, can I help you? We'll ask about the murders. The incident last spring. I still wonder what happened. It was a pretty big deal, wasn't it? I'd almost completely forgotten about that. Wow, I must be getting old, huh? And then we'll ask you about if there was anyone suspicious. A suspicious person? No, I can't think of anyone. Not from this town, anyway. All right. And then you? This fog has got to be some kind of biological weapon. It's a conspiracy. You know who I heard it was? Juness. Yeah, that's right. Juness. The country of Juness is staging an all-out attack on Inaba. Wow, you're, you're, you're a bit loopy, dude. All right, that's Yukiko. That's Kanji. Don't need to talk to them. All right, so there's Rise, and let's talk to the guy. Hey, listen to this. Reset came and spoke to me. This is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. I asked her for her autograph and what type of guy she's into. That's not creepy at all. Anyway, uh, what do you want? I'm sure you can see how busy I am. And uh, the answer is me, by the way. Um, About the murders? Didn't they capture the suspect and put a lid on that case? Are you done asking questions? Good. Now go away. I'm very busy talking to Reset right now. Well, we're going to ask you about the suspicious people anyway. Hmm? No? I don't think I've seen anyone any suspicious people. Except for you, who's interrupting my conversation with, with Reset. Alright, dude. Chill. Alright. Now this guy. Loud old man. The fog isn't clearing even though the year is almost over. It's deplorable. It'll be so cold on New Year's that I'll never be happy. What do you want? About the murders. I can't remember something from that long ago. And do you recall anyone suspicious? There isn't anyone like that in this town. I even know you. You're that kid who's staying at Dojima-kun's house. Okay. And what about you? Since all I hear from everyone is poison, poison, I've got kind of freaked out, too. I wonder where I can buy a gas mask. I need to get one. Everyone else has one already. And speaking of gas mask, here's a guy in a gas mask. It's me. Do you recognize me? Why am I outside when I'm, when I'm at home? I just see more news about the murders. I thought I'd stay out here and watch the sunset. Of course, I'm going to watch TV when I go home anyway. Even then, I can't see the sunset because of all this fog. I hate it. It's so depressing. Do you have a question? Well, ask about the murders. Oh, come on. Don't make me even more depressed. A set on the news that the suspect had been caught. So that whole thing is over now, right? What else is there? Well, do you recall anyone suspicious? It's a small town. If there was anyone suspicious, there would be rumors going around all over. But at least I haven't heard any news or rumors like that, so I'd say there's no such person. Alright. What about you? Gotta be careful when taking your motorcycle out on a foggy day. I wish whoever honked at me when I slowed down more than usual understood that. He yelled at me for going too slow. What's so wrong with following the speed limit? Wait, or was I at fault there? Okay, so you don't really have anything. Alright, so we'll leave the shopping district. And we'll head over to Juness again and talk to you. You know, it's foggy every day. This is the season for winter vegetables, too. What will I do if the fog really is poison? All my vegetables will go rotten. This is all because not enough people eat their veggies. If only my son would clean his plate, he'd... Okay, nothing there. All right, going to town. I think we also have to head to Samegawa. You apparently have a quest for me. I'll grab it. Ah, it's you. Fog's pretty thick today. 
I go out on walks and I can hardly recognize my surroundings. Pretty sad, ain't it? But hey, thanks for stopping to talk to me. Hey, um, I'd like to ask something of you. Sure. So you have a minute then? I've got another request to ask of you. To be perfectly honest with you, I'd like another lamp. Something simple but beautiful, but not too gaudy. That kind of lamp. I looked, I looked in some stores, but I ain't seen nothing like that. But you're something else. I think you could find something like me, like that for me. So what are you saying? Sure, why not? Uh, sorry to keep bothering you with these things. All right, now, do you have anything else to say? No, you don't. All right, what about you? Old woman. My daughter was in an accident. On top of that, it was a hit and run. Nobody could tell what kind of car it was because of all the fog. Jeez, this is horrible. Thankfully, she wasn't hurt too bad. But she was right, wasn't she? That fog is dangerous. I need to start letting everyone know. Okay, you don't have anything to say about that. What about you? The fog isn't clearing up, is it? Isn't that just a little strange? My wife is all business as usual, but I'm a little worried. By the way, do you need, need anything? Well, ask about the murders. I'm sorry. All I remember is that something happened. I know it was pretty shocking, but what can I say? A lot of time has passed. And then we'll ask if they saw anyone suspicious. We've had a lot of people come into our store, but I can't say anyone was particularly suspicious. And what about you? Sir? You need something? We'll ask about the murders. Now that you mention it, the town was all a buzz last spring. You remember that, don't you? It doesn't look like you'll find any more information about the incidents last spring. Recall anyone suspicious. Have we seen a strange person? I don't know. Out in the country, if there was anybody strange walking around, everyone would know about it right quick. You have gathered as much information as you could. You should report back to the group. Okay, good. We go to the Chinese diner. Aya. Ah, yeah. You met up with your friends after you finished gathering information. <sighs> I'm seriously pooped. This stuff's a lot harder when you don't have a badge to flash. I walked around all day and didn't hear anything good. It was the same for me. There was absolutely no talk about the case whatsoever, let alone the true culprit. Ditto for me. Actually, in my case, I kept getting bombarded with questions and couldn't get them onto the main subject at all. <sighs> the killer must be pretty good to have pulled this off without being seen by anyone in this small town. What should we do? Well, one steak bowl, please. That's one way to handle it. That's not what I meant. But then again, I guess we might as well take a break. I'll have a crab and egg fried rice. I'll have roast pork ramen with extra noodles. That all sounds delicious, by the way. You all finished eating the dishes that you ordered? Our tummies are full. Let's share what we learned, even if it wasn't much. You spoke with everyone about the information you gathered today. So, to sum up, there really was no new information. The end? The police had an unusually large number of officers in their initial investigation of the first two incidents. To find facts that even they overlooked would be difficult indeed, now that over half a year has passed. There wasn't a single report of suspicious persons being witnessed to begin with. Miss Yamano had ardent fans, whereas Saki-san didn't, but otherwise the conditions are the same. You know, every time I tried to ask about the case, everyone ignored me and kept ranting about the damn fog. Yeah, that or the Midnight Channel. I asked around about Teddy too, but no one's seen him. Gee, I wonder where he could have gone. Do you have anything, Naoto? Any new, uh, deductions? <sighs> Without any new data to work with, there isn't much I can do. But there must be someone in town who meets all the criteria for this case. The killer must have a connection to both Saki-san and Miss Yamano, as well as be in a position to observe our actions periodically to some extent. Finally, it must be someone who could approach Senpai's house without arousing suspicion. 
I need some fresh air before I give it more thought. I'll be outside. Just sitting here won't help you think any better. You decide to go outside and get some fresh air. It's snowing. No wonder it's chilly. Ugh, it's freezing out here. Maybe this will help clear my head and get my deductive muscles flexing. You don't have any deductive muscles, Yosuke. Hey, is it snowing? Too bad the fog's so thick. The snow just gets lost in it. It must be something that's been overlooked. It's urgent to get over the roadblock facing you. The clues you need must already be in your hands. What's the matter? You should go over everything you know one more time. The culprit had some sort of connection with both Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishi. And judging by the warning letters, the culprit most likely knows about the other side and what you did there. Highly likely that they also knew what Namatame was doing and stood back to watch. Who would know all these things? Another oddity about the case is that there were almost no witnesses. Both warning letters seem to have been delivered directly to your house, but no one saw anyone suspicious. No one unusual was seen around Mayumi Yamano or Sake Kunishi either. Despite the police dispatching an unusually high number of officers to perform a thorough investigation, there must be someone in this small town who fits all the facts. The person who seems to be the most likely culprit is... Yosuke! <laughs> Alright, so now we got to figure out who the culprit was. Now, of course, this is not a blind playthrough, so I know who it is, and I have known since the very beginning. Um, but let's just see if we can kind of work through it. So, it had to be somebody who was in Inaba at the time of the murders. Okay. Um, the relationship or some sort of connection to Mayumi Yamano or Saki Konishi. We can come back to that, I guess. Would not have been considered suspicious by anybody. Either, you know, during the murders or, you know, delivering the letters or anything. So it has to be somebody who is familiar to everyone in town. Obviously, nobody on the actual investigation team. You wouldn't think. Teddy doesn't make any sense. So, you know, Nyosuke, Chie, no. Yuhiko, no. No. Uh... Teddy, no. Not Kanji, not Risei, not Naoto, nope. Ryotaro Dojima. Nanako Dojima. Yes. Nanako's the true culprit. We know it's not Taro Namatame. Highly unlikely it'd be Ryotaro Dojima. But he's not entirely ruled out. Though his reaction to the letter and to the whole Nanako situation would seem to preclude him from being a culprit. Um, so... Who else might we look at? Mayumi Yamano... Yes, she killed herself and killed someone after she was dead. No. Saki Kunishi? Murder-suicide? Eh, unlikely at best. And besides, she would have been dead, so she couldn't have delivered the warning letters. That's out. Kinshiro Moroka. 
again, warning letters were delivered after he died, so he's out. Mitsuo Kubo, again, warning letters were delivered after he was in police custody, he's out. Misuzu Hiragi, solid alibi, wasn't even in the country. Noriko Kashiwagi. Uh, no. Hanako Otani. I highly doubt it. We don't know enough about either of them to say anyway. Because they haven't been because they also had to be aware of our activities, right? They had to be somebody who we frequently interacted with over the course of the entire investigation who could keep an eye on what we were doing and was aware of what was happening. So Kashiwagi and Otani kinda don't fit that bill. I Ebihara. Again, same. None of these guys. Ko, Daisuke, Naoki Konishi. No. He killed his own sister? I don't think so. Yumi Ozawa. We don't even know who she is, because we've never actually met her. Ayane Matsunaga. Again, same deal. Shu Nakajima. <laughs> Definitely not. Sayuka Uehara. Again, no. Eri Inami. No. Think once again. So, there really is only one person that fits the bill. Toru Adachi. A police detective would go completely unnoticed in town. You know, and if he showed up, at uh, Mayumi Yamano's, um, where she was at the inn, wouldn't seem that out of the ordinary. Again, the police were interviewing Saki Konishi. It wouldn't be odd for him to have interacted with her, because she found the first body. He's been part, you know. He's not only been observing us the entire time we've been doing this, he's also been giving us bits and pieces of information about the investigation. He fits. And he's really the only one who fits. Of course, if you look at only the circumstances, you can't completely rule out that possibility. Adachi may have been able to keep an eye on your actions, yes. He would have been able to approach your house with ease, and he knows the area well. Thinking about it, you encountered him many times while investigating the case. He learned much about the police's movements from Adachi as well. There is no exact reason to doubt him, but something is bothering you. However... Should you tell your friends about your suspicions about Adachi being the culprit? Now here is a choice that governs what type of ending you're going for. I'm going to go ahead and tell my friends about Adachi. Then we're going to go down that particular route. So, here we go. You spoke Adachi's name. Huh? What about him? Detective Adachi, hmm, a member of the police force. That is an interesting approach. It would certainly explain the lack of witness reports. It's the same reason no one ever reported seeing Namatame's truck. This is a small town, so everyone must have known who he is. And since he's a detective, people definitely wouldn't have thought of him as being suspicious. In fact, he could use his position to his advantage and hide critical information. Huh. Well, if you think of it that way, I guess it's possible. But we're talking about Adachi here, right? I mean, really? Adachi? He's your textbook lousy detective. Could all be a front. Are we really on the right track here? Actually, regarding Detective Adachi, 
I'm not sure how to put it, but there's something that's been bothering me about him for some time now. Yeah? Hmm. Perhaps it's just my imagination, so I shouldn't speak to... It's cold. I think we've cooled down enough here. Let's go back in. Adachi-san? That can't be. I mean, he said he came to escort Miss Yamano and... Bingo! What? Was he at your inn when the announcer was staying there? When Miss Yamano was staying at our inn, the media were swarming all over it. That's when Adachi-san arrived, saying he'd been assigned to guard her. He told our waitress that fame could be rough. Guard her? He didn't spend the night there? Huh. I wonder if he knew Ms. Yamano. I don't know about that, but I heard he did call out to a girl in my class. I found out this afternoon, but I thought, you know, that's just how cops are. So I didn't think it had anything to do with the case. Detective Adachi also questioned Saki-san, the one who found the announcer's body, on numerous occasions. I heard it was because there was so little information about the case at the time, but... It's certainly unusual to question someone with as strong an alibi as hers multiple times. Then you think he had something else on his mind? And that something is what connects those two victims to Adachi-san? Come to think of it, we've been running into that guy a lot, in all sorts of places. And every time he'd tell us what the police were doing before saying, Oops, I said too much and clamming up. Was that all to throw us off the trail? It would be no problem for him to drop that warning letter into your mailbox, either. Not to mention the fact that he can destroy any evidence that might point to him. Various peculiarities have begun to cast a suspicious shadow on Adachi. Then... Is it really Adachi-san? Uh... We need to confirm it, though. It's just a suspicion. This is still only a tentative theory. We should work to confirm it as soon as possible. This is Naoto Shiragane. Something has occurred to me about the case, and I'd like to get Detective Adachi's input on it. Huh? The transport? It's right now? Right, I, I see. Thank you. Mamatame's transport. What was that about a transport? Detective Adachi is headed to the hospital to prepare for Namatame's relocation. We must head there at once. Things are moving quickly now. You feel that you are getting closer to the truth. <laughs> Judgment rank four. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Hey, do you know where Dojima-san went? They told me he snuck out of his room again. I assure you, we've made it clear to him several times that he needs to stay put, but he keeps going off on his own. Jeez, with Namatami finally relocated, I was looking forward to going home. So, he's been relocated. I've been wondering... You seem to be in a terrible hurry to get him out of this hospital. Huh? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we can't leave him here with Dojima-san and Nanako-chan around. Didn't you guys think so, too? Hey, what are you doing here, anyway? Nanako-chan's room is in the other wing. Don't you think you should leave before Dojima-san finds you? If he catches you, he'll start pestering you again. Adachi. Where's Namatami? There's been a lot of noise today for some reason. Dojima-san, what are you doing here? Namatami's already been relocated. I was looking for you so I could tell you that. You did what? Who authorized that? There's still more I need to ask him about. G give me a break, Dojima-san. Those first two murders have been bothering me. His motives are shaky and his alibi is rock solid. Pretty much. 
We closed a lot of loopholes on the basis of his testimony. But that part's still nagging at me. Is this more of your detective's intuition? He's already been relocated. It's no use hassling me about it. And you kids should really get home too. You're gonna get in the way of police business. What's gotten into you today? It's odd to see you taking work so seriously. <laughs> Come on! I'm always given 110% when it comes to the job. You should get back to work too, Dojima-san. Your current assignment? Get better as soon as possible. Mm. What are you all doing here? We came to confirm something with Adachi-san. You should question Adachi. All right. Uh, about when Yamano vanished. The time the announcer went missing? I can't say for sure offhand. It's not like I saw her or anything. You didn't? That was months and months ago, too. My memory's kind of hazy that far back. All right, and we'll ask about Saki's interrogation. Why wouldn't I question her? She discovered the announcer's body. But she didn't know much about it, so I only talked with her once or twice. Was that all you wanted to ask? Well, I hope it mm. helped. There's still something you need to question Adachi about. The warning letter. Warning letter? The one that was delivered to his house. It's in police custody now, correct? Uh, I don't really remember. Hey, what do you mean you don't remember? Yeah, it's kind of a big deal. I gave it to you to take down to the crime lab for processing. You're telling me you forgot? <laughs> I'm sorry. Your accident was right after that, and what with one thing and another, it sort of slipped my mind. Besides, that thing was just a prank, wasn't it? Jeez, what are you asking me all this for? For crying out loud, what's this all supposed to be about? Dojima-san, you really need to get back to your bed. That's why your wounds aren't healing. And you all need to go home right now. Do you have any idea what time it is? I'm going back. I need to get to the station and report in. Just one more thing, please. We know for certain now that the first two murders weren't Namatame's doing. Someone else killed them. Adachi-san, do you have any idea who that might be? I have no idea what you're talking about. Because we think it might have been you. What? That's ridiculous. We already know Namatami's the one who put them all in. Put them all in, huh? What did you just say? Put them all in? What's this putting them in business? Do you know something about the method behind their murders? Don't tell me that all that talk about TVs and whatnot from before was... I see. Now I finally understand. To tell the truth, Adachi-san, I've been fixated on something you once said. Before, I didn't know why, only that it sounded a wrong note to me. Do you recall when I read Namatame's diary? At the scene of Dojima-san's accident. At the time, I said, even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. And in response, your words were, Wow, then that settles it. How, I wonder, would that settle anything? At the time, the police had no idea that there had been other attempted murders related to the case. You had no reason to say such a thing. After all, there are countless examples of people disappearing for a few days. Yet when I read the list of names, you raised no objection. Odd, that. What do you say to that, Detective Adachi? I don't know. I said I'm busy! Wait, you son of a bitch! Adachi! Ah! Oh, damn it! Adachi! I think we got him. Amatami's hospital room and the giant TV. Adachi isn't here either. What the? I swear he ran this way! 
Damn it! Where the hell did he go? Right in front of you. Did you find him? I contacted security. Nobody's seen Adachi, and there's no record of anyone leaving this area. So he must be still in this ward somewhere. He's still here? But we looked! We didn't find him anywhere! That bastard. <clears throat> Dojima-san? For heaven's sake, what are we going to do with you? Sorry. I got carried away. Do you even want to get better? If you keep this up, there could be lasting damages. Have you forgotten how much trouble it caused you last time? You're right. Sorry. You've got to find Adachi. I need to square this away with him. Please. He hasn't left this ward yet? I don't think he would, but could he have... Yeah, I think so. If he's the killer, he can go through, right? You mean he went in through here? We searched every inch in the direction he ran off. There's nowhere to hide. I don't think we could have missed him. He was cornered. It's highly probable that he escaped there. If he does indeed turn up on the other side, that should prove beyond a doubt that he is the true culprit. Damn. So I guess we were right. What do we do now? Uh, let's go in tomorrow. We don't want to go in from here. I think it's too dangerous to go in from here. We're not 100% positive he used this TV. And on top of that, we don't know where it might lead. Let's go in from Jeunesse, like always. It'll be fine. So long as we're ready for him, we'll crush that jerk in one strike. The extremely suspicious Detective Adachi, you've taken another step closer to the truth. Alright, Judgment Rank 5. You split up for today and you all went back home. Alright, but here is where we're going to stop for the day. So we've figured out who it is. Now we just need to catch them. Alright, so we'll be going through more story events when we come back for next episode. So for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.